uh, the American rights. Uh, so people are further educated freedom. upon their own freedoms, like free and the fuck on, like yeah. obviously. And today my, we're talking. My impression of an eagle. <laughs> hmm. It's horrible. It sounds more like a. I want to say like an egret or a, a turtle uh, schmex. See, ah, other, ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> just, just two turtles clapping ah, cheeks and fuck. Welcome the uh, article. Fucking welcome to the article seventeen. Already got us demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen seconds without a curse word or violence. Yeah, you suck. All right, all right. Well, fuck. Shit. Start it over. Yes. Start it over. No, no. Well, okay. Welcome to the article seventeen seventy six podcast. I am Matthew Kicklighter. This is Scott Still eighty seven. Yeah, fucking A, right? So I had a little situation that happened earlier this morning. Uh, so what happened was is that anytime that I hear a loud noise, I, I always grab for my um, one of my pew pews protection, yeah. right? I did something. So I sleep naked. <laughs> so I sleep naked. I sleep naked, so I heard something. I heard something go bang in a uh, real loud in the early morning. So I grabbed my pew pew, I checked it down the hallway, and I removed the curtain. I realized that it was my uh, my screen door from my front porch patio door, it slammed real hard. What I didn't expect was there to be a grandma, her husband, and a grandkid right there, just having a fucking show with balls slapping around. And I was the dick of ball swinging, ball Johnson, the ball Johnson swinging. <laughs> and I felt so embarrassed. I just, I, <laughs> I fucking dressed up, got when I got all dressed, went outside, and I apologized. And the grandma probably was looking scared down. of you at first. She was like, <laughs> the grandma was looking down though. I felt she weird. She wanted some of that marine meat. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my interesting thing that happened. This morning, it was fucking weird. I have something interesting that happened today. What? So I work part-time where I work, and I was working almost 30 hours a week. Mm-hmm. And I got cut down to 23 hours a week. Mm-hmm. I just got cut down today to 14 hours a week. And They're giving looked, you. And I looked at my manager and said, All right, well, from here on out, I'm going to milk this company for every dime I can get out of it until I find a job. You can give me your 14 hours, but it's not going to make me quit. Like I need to be able to put gas in my car so I can find a job. You're going to put gas in my car. I walked out. What do you say? Nothing. What? Well, nothing. Nothing. She didn't say anything. She was like, I was afraid to have this conversation because I thought, cause I, cause I figured it was going to be put in this situation. And I was like, you've already cut my hours. Yeah. And then I asked you for more hours. Yeah, fucking. More and then you here. said, yeah, let me check the schedule. And now you're going to tell me that you're cutting my hours even farther. Yeah, looking at you, fucking Diane. Fuck you. Fucking Whatever Diane. her name is. Fuck you, Diane. If your name is if your name is Diane, reading we'll go this with podcast. Diane just because there's people I work with who probably watch the podcast because I talked about it. So, like, I don't want to go back. Hey, you're with. Mike said about you. He said, "Fuck you, Diane." We'll use the name Diane just to, j- just for her safety. But I fucking know. I fucking know. <laughs> we know. You know that we know. We know if that makes. 
So we're actually talking about today. We're go we love going over uh the American rights. Uh so people are further educated freedom. upon their own freedoms. Like freeing the fuck on. Like obviously. And today that's we're my, talking about my impression of an eagle. <laughs> hmm. It's horrible. It sounds more like a I don't want to say like an egret or a a turtle uh, schmecks. It sounds <laughs> <laughs> Just, just two turtles clapping <laughs> cheeks and fuck. That, that's clapping shell. <laughs> Look, so me and clank, Evie clank, clank, went clank, to clank. a lemur farm out in Florida. I was afraid for, where that story. I was afraid where that story is gonna go. No, we went to a lemur farm for one of our anniversaries. We went out of town. We had an Airbnb along the river, uh, and then we went to like um, a lemur farm. And then we went to a big ass like flea market. Well, at the lemur farm, they have a bunch of other animals, and there were these two tortoises. Mm-hmm. And the one tortoise kept mounting the other tortoise, and they were going <sighs> <sighs> like they were literally doing that sound, and like it was just shell on shell, just clip 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 clip. <laughs> You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals. Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're actually going to be done. Fuck. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm done. Okay, so now we're today we're talking about the Sixth Amendment. Don't you fucking do it. I... <laughs> so today we're talking about the Sixth Amendment and what rights the uh, the accused has as so far as like the defendant, uh, your right to a lawyer, all this and that and the other, uh, making sure that they, they actually get to know who their accuser is, like who's filing the given the lawsuit, uh, who's suing them, all this and that and that sort. Scott Seal, if you could please, kind sir. Pull up for the people to see what the Sixth Amendment is, and certainly. And read it off to him because I can't fucking <clears throat> see what the shit. All right, in all criminal, the Sixth Amendment, in all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by impartial jury of the state and district wherein the crime shall have been committed which district shall have been previously ascertained by law, and to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, to be confronted with the witnesses against him, to have compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in his favor, and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. Yeah, see, so you get the uh, like a right to a fair, <laughs> speedy trial. You shall enjoy a speedy and public trial. <laughs> That's yeah. the same thing about fair. <laughs> yeah. The justice system can work if everything is done correctly. Wow. For some reason, I just can't breathe. Um, basically, what this says is no matter who you are, for whatever reason, mm-hmm. you have the right to a speedy and public trial, which means it's not going to take forever. It shouldn't take forever. There should be no impedance by anybody. Mm-hmm. It's got to be obviously in the state where it was committed. Um, but the problem is, is that people don't understand Like, this is part of everybody's constitution, no matter your color, your race, your creed, your religion. Mm-hmm. This is part of your constitution as an American. You have this right. Now, unfortunately, let's, let's talk about a, a, a case that just happened recently. Not recently, but within the last few years, uh, Mr. George Floyd. Uh, Mr. Floyd had originally had the police called on him over from what was alleged a fake $20 bill. Mm -hmm. If everything had gone obviously different than it had, Mr. Floyd would have had a right to due process Mm -hmm. and a fair and a, a fair trial. Mm-hmm. You have that right. Now, if he had just passed off a fake $20 bill, you know, 
he probably could have argued that he didn't even know it was a fake twenty dollar bill. He doesn't have like a a twenty dollar bill pin just laying around his house. I'm sure. Yeah. So I think that you know if better decisions had been made in all parties, uh, he could have, um, as it said, shall he should have he could have enjoyed a speedy and public trial. Yeah. Uh, and he would have had access to free counsel. Uh, the public defender's office, while they're not always the best, mm-hmm. um, they are free. And that is a service that the United States government and the federal and, the, and state governments give to um, accused criminals. So everybody has this at their. I don't want to say leisure, but at their at their assistance, um, and use it. Don't don't get killed over something stupid. Yeah, like it doesn't matter what who you are, what your color is. Don't get killed over stupid stuff. Okay, guess what? You're driving around with a bunch of meth in your car, and you're all tweaked out and shit. And the cops mm-hmm. pull you over. Guess what, bro? Do your time because you at least ain't gonna be dead. Hmm. Because I know where I where I'm from, uh, there was a guy. I don't know him, but I know of him. He was actually killed in a shootout with police officers because he was running drugs and shit. Um, he died because he decided to shoot at the cops first. And well, there's more of them. And uh, so you know, if he had just stopped and gone through his shit and done what he was supposed to do. Yeah. He probably would have had a charge. Yeah. He probably would have been a felon. Yeah. He probably would have been looked at differently when he goes to apply for a job, but he's not dead. Yeah. Like this is, this is there. So you don't die. Your rights are there. So you don't die. You Mm -hmm. have the right to habeas corpus. You have your Miranda rights. Uh, That's the fifth amendment. Um, Mm. and then this, this follows it after it. So you've been accused of a crime. You don't have to say anything under your fifth amendment under your sixth amendment. You get the right to fair trial with public defenders Mm -hmm. and you get to know who's accusing you. Plus you get to have a trial of your peers. Like, and here's the, yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah. It's very easy. And it's like, what's crazy to me is that, uh, and the, and I'm going to piss off a lot of people with this one. Well, this one, possibly. No, fuck. But here's the thing. <clears throat> people need to get pissed off. Yeah. Like, when, uh, and this needs to be brought to a lot of people's attention. And when I think, when I read this and I think about this, I think about in situations. Yeah, of course. Like, if, if you're a douchebag dad, uh, then you need to pay you need to pay the child support but here's the thing on the other side of that you know women can do whatever the i can't tell people what to do with their own bodies and all that stuff you know but if you were to if you were to try to force a dude to say that you're the father uh he's the father and i've seen in several cases to where the women would not even have an affair case, but the woman would accuse the dude of being the dad without having to pay child support. But then, and then no, hold on, hold on. He would have to go, he, he would go to serve in prison time. And then turns out that they did a DNA test after all this time they served in prison. Turned out he wasn't the dad. So that that's a that's a slippery slope. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Just because it's shit. Now I've been in, I, I've I've known of situations where like uh, someone I know is not the father to someone else's kid that I know. Yeah. And this man signed the paperwork, and now he's on the line for it for eighteen. Yeah, and that's the thing too that he needs and you know to. Him. Yeah, I know. But here's the thing: is that what I'm saying is that birth certificates should not be legalized 
a hundred percent until there is a DNA sample. Yeah, that, there's if, there, if be... there's re- if there's reasonable doubt. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean that's definitely fair. Because here's the thing: what you don't know here in the states, I don't know for our viewers out in like you the UK everywhere else, but here in the United States, a birth certificate is actually a legalized form. Uh, so if even if the they're trying to say if the dude's not the dad and he still signs that birth certificate, but he's not present, then he still owes child support. Get the results first Boy, before. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you are not the father. No. But if you're if you're the father and you're just a shitty dad, fuck you. You know, like fucking piss off. Uh, that's that's what I think. That's what I kind of think is a, like a father should have equal representation in the fact. And if it just comes out that you're a shitty dad, then you're fucking shitty. If you, so if I, you, I mean, I got lucky when it comes to the state of Florida. I got lucky. Uh, yeah. Florida's a mother state, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um. It wasn't like I got lucky to say like, haha, I got lucky. <laughs> yeah. It was like I went up against a system that is predominantly a mother state. Um, I laid all my evidence out in chronological order and like a time frame and had everything. This is this, this is this, this happened, then this happened, then this happened, then. And it was just like, all right, here you go. You know, now it's it's back to fifty fifty. Yeah, it. Well, not I 50, don't. 50, it, it's it's more like seventy five fifteen. Here's what I think: should if if a father has reasonable suspicion, something to where uh, the birth certificate is not a legalized paper first, because I've seen quite a bit of dudes who have gone to jail for without paying child support, but they're not the father. Like I said, it's, it's well, their license gets suspended. Yeah. Um, and they can't get it back. So they pay their child support, but they owe back child support because they've already been paying out the ass and they lost mm-hmm. their car that they had because they couldn't make the payments. Because they were already paying child support, lost the car, couldn't get a job. It was harder to get a job because he had to ride the bus. Then he's saving up money for the bus every week. I've been there. Yeah. It sucks, dude. Like when you have to pay for the bus every week, and you're making part time as it is. Uh huh. And you got to pay your roommate $600 every fucking paycheck. It's like shit. What money is there left for you? Yeah. Like I get what to buy a soda and ride the bus it sucked dude yeah like i've th- luckily i was able to get my i was able to take care of all my court shit i set up court cases i got everything taken care of i didn't need a public counsel because i had everything set up and paid for and by the time i went back to court for the the thing that was hanging over my head it was like oh well you took all this time to take care of everything while well, the entire world was in during doing a or in, during a pandemic. You were working your ass off to get this shit taken care of. We'll drop all the charges. All right, cool. Everything went up from there. Yeah. And it's it, it, in public trial. Yeah. So it's like it's know your rights again, people. Like I said, like last podcast, know your rights. Oh, you're right. And if you don't fight for them and stand up for them, you will lose them. And this will be China. I've always, and this is just me. This is just me speaking. But I firmly 100% believe in the First Amendment. Uh, I also believe in the fact that what uh, Abraham Lincoln said, it's better to keep your mouth shut and have people think that you're stupid than to open it and prove it right. That's true. No, I can see that. Definitely, I can see that. Especially if you don't do your fucking research. I, I've, I've, I've told people, I've given people research on the Second Amendment. You know, like... like. So we've, we've touched on this. There's actually a, a couple things I want to touch on. Yeah. 
this list. I think this is something that needs to be discussed. Have you taken a look at it? No, not yet. No. I'm going to read a few names. So you know, let's put it up on the computer so that people can see. Um, okay. Put first, up on the, uh, let me see what I can do. Okay. On this on this little moment, guys, I want to say you guys are awesome. We love you guys. Keep supporting us and thank you for the 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 likes of views. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on our stuff. Let us know how that we're doing. Embracing the freedom and educating everyone on their freedoms. Plus you can tell Matt to free the nips. <laughs> Yeah, so it, it like we're here for you guys, the common Americans. No matter if you're white, black, green, brown, turquoise, purple, we all have shit. rights. Wait, what? I don't give a shit what color you are. Exactly. I, I thought you said I have to I take could be shit. Green, I could be red. I could be violet. Uh, orange. Sky. <laughs> <laughs> I could be red, I could be blue, I could be green. <laughs> I can be anything you like. That was a good that was a good little I love that little duet. By the way, when did you take your hat you had your hat off? When did yeah. you take your when like, did you take your hat off? Like five minutes ago. Yo, oh. I can headbang now and my hair like All right. This is Kind of look like you're sucking dick there for a second. Now, this is what I was sent earlier. Um, and this is... I looked it up online. You could actually find this online. Mm -hmm. Man. The f Fucking names. And they're all in alphabetical order. Here we go. Now, it might be hard to read. You might have to adjust. Uh... Pause, guys. Pause the name. Pause right here if you have trouble seeing. And then kind of zoom in if you can. We're going to. I'm going to read some of these out. All right. Okay. Uh, Al Gore. Oh, shit. Alec Baldwin. Oh, shit. Anderson Cooper. Oh, shit. Angelina Jolie. Oh, fuck. Anthony Kiedis. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, shit. Barack Obama. Oh, ben I've seen Aff that before. Yeah, Ben Affleck, Bernie Sanders, Beyonce, Bill Clinton, Bill Gates, Br Bob Saget, Bruce Willis... Celine Dion, Charlie, Charles Barkley, Charlie Theron, uh, Charlie Sheen, Chelsea Handler, Cher, Chris Tucker, Chris Wagner, Chrissy Teigen. Well, I knew that. She's a fucking a weird one. Cindy Lauper, Claire Hazel, Courtney Cox, Courtney Love, Demi Moore, Don Shader, David Koch, David Spade, uh, Drew Barrymore, Ellen DeGeneres, uh, Perry Lang. Uh, George Clooney, just like Maxwell, Gwen Stefani, Heidi Klum, Hillary Clinton, James Franco, James Gunn. This pisses me off if this is true. Jim Carrey, mm -hmm. Jimmy Kimmel, Joe Biden, John Cusack, John Legend, John Travolta. Well, I mean, yeah, he's kind of freaky. Justin Trudeau himself, old blackface. Mm -hmm. Yep, he was been he's been there. Cat. Katy Perry, Kathy Griffin, Kevin Spacey, Christy Rogers, she's dead. Lady Gaga, mm -hmm. uh, Larry Vasaki, he's the pilot. Uh, Lisa Summers, Lynn Foster, D. Rothschild of like the Rothschild Rothschilds, mm -hmm. uh, Eminem, Meryl Streep, Michelle Obama, Miley Cyrus. Well, she's a hoe, so of course. Yeah, I said right. it. I said it. <laughs> Fuck with me, Miley. 
No, don't stop with me. I don't want what I don't want that. I don't I want keep that on reading. That. Keep on reading. Naomi Campbell, Naomi Watts, Oliver Sacks, Oprah, Orlando Bloom, Paris Hilton, Patton Oswalt. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, he has to. Quentin Tarantino, Rachel Maddow, Rihanna, Rob Reiner, Robert De Niro, Robert Downey Jr., RDJ. Yo, what's up, man? Like, uh, Sarah Silverman, Seth Green, Jay Z, uh, Sophie Trudeau, which is Justin Trudeau's wife, I assume, Steven Spielberg, Stephen Colbert, Steven Tyler, Tom Hanks, Wanda Sykes, Whoopi Goldberg. And you know who's not on that? I, I don't think is on that list. Who's that? Trump. I mean, yeah, I I, I haven't seen it. Like I went yeah, like through because like there the were a D lot area. of there's no there's no Don, there's Dolores Donovan Doug Drew Barrymore like yeah there's no but Donovan. here's here's the thing a lot of people were accusing him of that said stuff but here the list is. And there yet, was a picture of him shaking his hand at a dinner party. Yeah. Like fucking A. And I thought I thought all this I thought because of uh the recent CEO of YouTube uh stepped down because I've heard rumors but I knew that I don't I didn't think that they were true. I I mean there's probably more out there. Oh yeah, Prince Andrew, like we knew that one, Prince Charles. Mm-hmm. Actually, sorry, King Charles or King... What, what he changed his name to? King John or King Richard or some shit? I don't know. Yeah, he changed his name to some shit or another. That's all the list, right? And that's all... That's the list that I have. I'm sure there's... I mean, there's probably more. But, like, this is nuts. Yeah. So, now, you have this man who was... Indicted on all these sex trafficking charges or sex trafficking minors and grooming and all this crap. Just Lane Maxwell ain't dead yet. She hasn't killed herself. But then all, all right. the people. No, hold who... on, hold on, hold on. Don't say that. Remember, get to edit that out. I said she hasn't. No, the other part. Oh, forever sleep. Yeah. Put a quack over it or something. I'll try. <laughs> she didn't whack herself. All right. Yeah. Uh, but like all the people who were like, shame on these people, shame on these people, shame on these people. Fucking shame on you. You're the one. You're the one of those people. Yeah. But aliens are more important than the motherfuckers who are on this that run our country. Barack Obama, Bill Gates, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton. Like, yo, something is wrong. And I think, I think 1776. Uh -huh. Here's the thing. Like I said, guys, go back over to the part where we mentioned about the list. I'll bring it up back here again. And... Five, four, three, two, one. I give you ten seconds to pause it, and then to go on. Yeah, it's uh. Shot. Hold on. Wait in ten seconds. All right. Go ahead. Sorry. I just think that this is ridiculous. Pharrell Williams, Jim Carrey, John Pablo, Juan Pablo Malanu. I don't know who that is. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Justin Roiland. Yeah. That Rick and Morty guy. Yep. Fuck all you guys. You guys, if you don't, if you don't see us next week, you know what happened to us. Uh, for safety and security purposes. Oh, I got. <laughs> Fuck with me. All I have to say is, come and take it, motherfucker. 
That's all. No, I'll say. All I have to say is there are a couple uh, well placed USB drives. Yeah. That have absolutely nothing on them. I'm just throwing shit out there. <laughs> I was about to say, do you want me to stash them or something? Bury them out in the Red Sea, or <laughs> my lawyers have them. <laughs> It's like it's like the scene from Ted too. He takes a laptop. No, we we got to, first. We got to do is smash it. And like, <laughs> what, you just smash the laptop. <laughs> smash the laptop. Uh, is that good enough? No, the circuits can be rewired. We need to we need to drown this thing in the, out in the ocean. <laughs> I like that laptop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so- e- we got Evie a new laptop today. Guys, by the way, go shop at evnits.com. I'll leave a link in the description below to her, her stuff la- as well. Her laptop has a better graphics card than my gaming rig. Her laptop has a 3070 graphics card in it. I have a 3050. My son has a 3080. I'm pretty sure that I can look in your eyes right now. You are pissed. Uh, I, I think that me and him need to swap graphics cards. Cause See, they, I'm need not, a, they need a 3080. <laughs> I want a 3080. I, I'm more into the console type. I'm still into the console type of world. I haven't switched to the PC cause nah, I'm not very much into the upgrades. Like what I have is what I have, you know, what I'm happy I, with unless... Unless I have a grouping, because I, what I really want to do is uh, for our fellow, like our veterans and patriots, I want to have a charity stream to where it's just uh, me and you and quite a few others uh, on YouTube and, or, and streamers that can get together and raise awareness for uh, veteran charities, like the, especially uh, uh, for our yearly anniversary for Article 1776 opening up. Because then, you know, that, that'd be kind of cool. That's when I would need a higher upgrade PC. Yeah. Um, the way parts are looking, like, you can get a 3050, 3060 for, like, 300 bucks. So, like, as far as upgrading, prices are going down. Like, if you start looking at a 40 series, you're going to be spending up to $1,800. That's just because it's a brand new series and everybody's after it because they are fucking amazing. Don't get me wrong, but you can just mm-hmm. you can do just as well with the 3080, 3070, even a 3090 if you can get your hands on one. They're not too expensive, like a thousand dollars, you know, if you get one that's like all decked out with the RGB and the liquid cooling and shit. Yeah. You can get you can get it that way. I've I've been looking around for uh Razor, like Razor, you know, you're gonna chop me at the throat as soon as I say that. Put your knife hand here. Okay, (laughs) listen. Razor's cool and all, but they haven't been in the game as long. You know know which one is really cool if they choose to sponsor us? Corsair. No, that. Or Zydax. MSI. Well, well, yeah. I... (sighs) I've actually, that, I'm, I'm actually like in the process of drafting an email to Corsair right now. Zydax will sponsor you if, if, uh, I mean, you if you'll sponsor us, we'll show your shit, literal shit, and worship, worship to the YouTube gods, push it up. To I, YouTube I, gods. I don't see. My thing is, is I'm just, I, I'm a straight up Corsair MSI guy. Like everything I have except this monitor is an Acer. Uh-huh. And this monitor is a TV. <laughs> this monitor is an MSI monitor. My motherboard is MSI. My graphics card is MSI. My RAM is Corsair. The fans are Corsair. The all of the closed circuit, you know, cooling loop. Mm-hmm. All if it was brand new would cost you a lot of money. I got used parts and they all work great. I paid a hundred bucks for my cooling system. When this cooling system was new, it it was like three hundred dollars almost. The RAM I got for fifty bucks. The only things that I bought new for this computer were the two hard drives, the 
graphics card. Well, that was a Christmas gift. The power supply and the motherboard. I think I said motherboard. Motherboard, power supply, graphics card, processor. Those are the only things that I bought brand new. And I bought them at a fairly good price. Yeah, you can spend thousands of dollars or you can mm-hmm. still build a decent rig and do it on a budget. And I did it on a budget. And I thought I would need at least several thousand dollars to build this thing. Mm-hmm. It's not done. It's not what I want it to be just yet. But I like it for what it is. And it does exactly what I need it to do. Yeah, see, like I've... Mike drop Mike. <laughs> But me, I mainly I just do the I just use my computer stuff for uh, work, you know, like the YouTube editing. Um, but by the way, our old editor still a great dude. Go check him out, Zenzo. But I that's all I use it for is work. Work. I only use my stuff for work and for uh, YouTube, like YouTube editing. That's all that I use it for. You see that silver box down there at the bottom behind my refrigerator? Yeah. It looks like that silver box. Mm-hmm. That's a computer I'm trying to get back together and work in order for you. Oh, you make my stuff all technologically I just, hard. I just need to get a new graphics card. Because I can't give you my 1650. That was a gift. The 3050 was a gift, too. No. Yeah. But you know what I'm really, you know what I'm really they're needing getting, now. They're, they're they're not getting too bad. You know what I'm really needing now. What's that? That coffee. It's rich mocha from Black Rifle Coffee. Give it to me. Give it to me. Uh, I told you. I told you, Marines are real. But yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll get you in the PC realm. But like, I really need like two more monitors because mm-hmm. I want to get rid of these two. I want more MSI monitors because I mean, I wish I could show you guys, but this monitor is. Comment down below which one of you guys, what's your favorite PC gaming, like a computer for your gaming and other experiences? What is, which Corsair, one is your favorite? Like- MSI, fuck the world. <laughs> but yeah, let us know down in the link description, like in the comments, link description, in the chat below. Let us know because I'm, I okay. How about this? One for Corsair, two for Zydax, or three for other, and you would have to let us know which one. Yeah, Corsair though. Because Corsair, Corsair can link with the Philips Hue system, and the Philips Hue system is badass, and that's what I achieve. That's what I you know what I really for. like, though? You know what I really like, though? Is that with Zydax, you can have liquefied uh, cooling, which means that you can have any liquid that you have inside of there as part of the coolant. Yeah, I have a closed circuit right now, so like a closed loop, so I can't do anything with it. But do you like, know what? I, I have the you biggest want, radiator on the market. Do you know what type of shit that I would have on there and like inside the liquid for cooling red crayon that too but how about this how about this hear me out whiskey with chops of crayon red crayon inside of there no i think it would fuck up your pump uh the whiskey would be okay like fucking put some lead slingers in there Mm -hmm. oh yeah do you know what I really like? I really like Caleb Francis's PC. Yeah. How it's got that digital LED screen in the corner. Yeah. Like, I like that. That's what something you guys, I would get. What you guys haven't, if you guys haven't heard of him, uh, Caleb Francis, a.k.a. Grizzly Puncher on Twitch. Also, do you know who I, you know, I can't forget about the two other, you know who it really pops into mind? Fatty. This fucking seven monitor setup. Yeah. Nah, Batty's got a Batty's got a stream set up to die for. Uh, Eli's too. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I really just I would really like to have one of the one of like one of Caleb's. Yeah. And like have it back there behind me. 
you know who I raided out to uh, last night? Who's that? Taylene. Well, she's oh, yeah. a sweetheart. Guys, go check out Taylene. I read uh, on Twitch. the other night. Yeah, uh, but Taylene is twi- uh, Taylene is a, such a sweetheart of an individual. If you guys know, check her out on Twitch, you know. But uh, she built hers and Batty's recent sh- uh, shelf. Like, you see the self- shelf that he has now? Like no, how I, haven't, said, I haven't been on in a couple of days. Her and her dad built Batty's new stuff uh, for a shelf, so it's, it's like it's it's so. It, here's what people don't get: yeah, you can stream on uh, Twitch, you know, have a camera, basic camera. It's a lot more than that. Like you have to have a like a setup that would get people's attention. Great quality. I have uh, all right camera quality, but it has to be your personality. It's your it's your background like catching people's eye like i have the i have the oath of the oath sworn in as an american flag scott still has an american flag with the the 308 back there like the second amendment pro america stuff shit ton of whiskey and a shit ton of coffee and then i got a case of beer under it too there you go and his light his 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 lights change like it's stuff like that. It's create and creativity. I use more of the personality type aspect if I can get people to laugh. Streaming overlays, but Batty and Taylene are awesome. But they're they're fucking awesome at that shit. I can change pretty much all my lights. If you have, if you, I get a before we go in further into this. If you have epilepsy, look away right now. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing them all. <laughs> oh, I was about to say if you go before you go fast. Free speech green. Uh, it doesn't look green at all. But yeah, that stuff that stuff amazes me with what goes on today. Like the Sixth Amendment and what's going like people people should be more familiar with their rights and what and I, I, I often think what if this do you think the Sixth Amendment is gonna be come into play with Epstein's list? Hard to say. Uh like, I don't want to speculate on that. I like I'm not a lawyer. No, just I your don't. just your opinion. No, just asking for your pure opinion. I because mean, that, gonna, that, I think it's going to be brought against him as ever. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. Because like defamation, no defamation. Well, it could be like the state. He's quacked like, already. But I mean, like for the state, I mean. No, I or think, the federal, like I defamation think, of character. I think if anything. Uh, it would be used against anybody on that list if it mm-hmm. if it turns out to be true. Uh, obviously, like people have been there, we know that. Do I mm-hmm. know the legitimacy of that list? Not a hundred percent because, like, it, the kid, it's pretty much dead at this point, and that's what sucks. Is like none of these motherfuckers are being investigated. They're not in jail. They're not being charged with anything. It's what? like they get a fucking free pass. But like, if I'm in the wrong, if I'm in the wrong state, and I've got a joint on me. I could go to prison for 40. Well, years. no, not hold on. Not entirely because there are still accusations out there that are people out in public or left or right saying that, Oh, this person was on the list. So that person was on the list. This is a firm. This is a, this is, con, this is, where'd you get that uh, thing from? That's on uh fucking Google. Like, well, no, it. what site, what site? Uh, let me see. Well, I mean, uh, that's on Twitter. Uh, this list is on Reddit. This one's on Pinterest. Well, multiple sources. Wow. Okay. So hang on a second, though. What? There's a lot more than the list that I have. Um,. Jimmy Moore, Hank Color, Hedovsky, Ralph Ellison, Quentin Tarantino. Uh, no, hold on. Uh, Send it up on here. Well, I have it on my phone. No, but I mean, like, so people can see. Yeah, it takes a minute. <laughs> yeah, Why? so, like, no, I actually, I think it's the same one. Yeah. Anyway, but, like, none of these people are being investigated. But like, if you 
if I carry my pistol into New York, uh, I can go to prison. I don't intend to shoot anybody, but if I just have it on me for protection, mm-hmm. I've seen. I just saw a video today where a dude got jumped by like forty fucking people and robbed at Temple University. Why shouldn't I fucking be able to bring my gun anywhere if that shit happens to just random everyday people walking down the street, minding their own fucking business? You're damn mm-hmm. right. I'm protecting myself. Shit. I don't want to go anywhere without my pistol. I don't mm-hmm. go anywhere. <laughs> so I go to I go to work. I go home. So you guys, you know what? Scott said, "Like I asked you, do you know what company provides you with facts and freedom?" Article seventeen seventy six. Damn right, Article seventeen seventy six. Guys, shop at article seventeen seventy six dot com. Scott, still give them your shits, your stuff, your thingies. My shits. I got my yeah. own shits to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Scott's eighty seven all across the board. Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, that's about it. You'll find you'll find the link to my like all my socials in a link description below. Guys, want to say thank you so much. Like, comment, and subscribe if you. Like all our stuff, or you want to tell us what more, what we're missing out on, anything. We're here for what it. you want we're, to hear about. Let's 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 have a calm, civil discussion. I have to say that calm, civil discussion. Fight me in the comments. <laughs> fuck, <laughs> like fuck you, Scottsdale. No, but I want I want the I want the internet smoke. <laughs> bring that fucking smoke, you guys. I want to say thank you so so much. We love y'all. Until next week, next week, next time. Have a good one. Free another fuck on.